Hey everybody, this is Paulio Jr. again, and in this video, I wanted to show everybody um, the everyday user on how to um, increase or decrease um, their the sleep timer that they have um, on their Windows machine. So whether or not you're using um, Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10. Um, if your sleep timer is too long or too short, I'm going to show you how to change that. And then we'll go into some other things like Hibernate and uh, anything else that's in Power Options. So Power Options is, real, is where we really want is where we really want to go. And as far as getting to Power Options, uh, the the universal way to get to it on every uh, from Windows 7 to Windows 10 is holding the Windows key on your keyboard and hitting the letter R and in there you would type in powercfg.cpl you open that up and it will bring you directly into power options uh, with uh, Windows 7 which is what I'm using you would just type in power options and click on that and obviously with Windows 8 uh, you would just obviously pull your mouse over to the right, uh, find that search icon, and type in power options in there. And Windows 10 is pretty much uh, identical to Windows 7. You go to the bottom left hand cor corner, click that icon, and type in power options. And once you find power options, just click on that. And which brings us here. So the, the main reason uh, for the video was to change the settings on your, um, on your sleep timer before when your computer goes to sleep. So uh, whatever plan you're in, your preferred plan, you can just keep it checked and just click uh, change plan settings. Now once in here, uh, if you're using a PC, uh, this is what you'll see exactly what if you're using a tower this is what you're gonna see uh, and there may there may even be an option that says um, put the computer in hibernation um, and if you're using a laptop there's gonna be uh, two sections of this so it's gonna say turn off the display um, and above it right here it'll say um, you know running on battery and then to the right it'll say when plugged in so you can change the options for both so you'll see um, a box you'll see four boxes instead of two so for me I'm using my tower at the moment so I would just I, I like mine turn off the display at two hours and put the computer to sleep never um, because I'm pretty good at uh, shutting down my computer when I'm not using it um, but for those of you who um, are using a laptop and maybe you, you can continually walk away and aren't don't really shut down the computer uh, here's the options that we're going to do so if you turn off the display is nice because it will save a little bit of power regardless if the um, power cord is plugged in or not so you can change that you can change that for uh, on battery or when plugged in to uh, to your liking, so you you can turn off the display, uh, you know, when you're not using the computer, um, to whatever's appropriate for you. If you see the display going off um, relatively uh, quick, um, then you can adjust it accordingly. So I would say the the minimum about the minimum amount for turning off the display when you're not using it is five minutes and I would say the minimum amount to put the computer to sleep when you're not using it would be uh, between 15 and 20 minutes uh, this is just to uh, save you guys uh, you know save you a little bit of power and the biggest difference between uh, sleep what sleep does is it doesn't fully turn off your computer um, but when you press the power button, it brings the computer back to exactly where you were. And then what um, what Hibernate does is Hibernate 
saves everything as it is, um, but actually shuts the computer down. But when you can, when you turn the computer back on, uh, everything is exactly uh, how you left it. So, um, so like I said, you can just adjust these accordingly, um, and then just hit save changes just to keep that simple. I'm putting mine back to how I like it, and always uh, be mindful that um, if you're using your laptop, your, your uh, tower or whatever, if you are, um, say, downloading something or um, need something to run, make sure that you do increase the time. That, don't worry about the display because it won't turn off the it won't turn off anything. Um, but adjust the uh, the sleep timer so that um, because once it goes to sleep, everything's going to um, not necessarily pause, but it'll just stop altogether. So just keep that in mind. And then you hit save, and we're going to go back to change plan settings, and we're going to do change advanced power settings. Now in here, uh, you have the ability to require a password on wake up. Uh, I don't for mine, but um, obviously you can on yours and it'll be whatever password you use when you initially log on to the computer. Uh, for the hard disk, uh, I just leave my setting at never. Uh, everything else, oh, nope. And let's go down to, do, 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 do. So let's go to the sleep option here. Uh, so you have four options in the sleep setting. You can sleep after um, X amount of time. Uh, you can leave that be um, if we've already changed. Um, if you've already changed the option in here, and you can do the allow hybrid sleep and leave that on if you want to do that. If not, off and hibernate after. So this is where, um, like I said, uh, sleep, when you press the power button, it brings everything back to where you were. Um, hybrid shuts down the laptop or the computer. And once you hit the power button, it does bring everything back up, but it, um, it just takes a, a much longer time. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> so I would typically set the hibernate setting um, a, a little bit after the sleep setting. So if, you're, if your sleep setting was at 30 minutes, then um, I would set uh, the hibernate to uh, maybe double that. So maybe about an hour, uh, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, I would do the hibernate. <clears throat> and the next one we'll go into uh, are the power buttons and lid. So in here you'll have a couple more options uh, if you're using a laptop <clears throat> they'll ask you um, what to do uh, when you close the lid uh, and it'll be the same options as here so for me I'm using my tower it'll say power button action I'll say setting shut down I can change that to sleep hibernate or do nothing for me I just hit the power button it shuts it down um, on a lot of laptops uh, and some towers they have a sleep button, and for that you can do do nothing, sleep, uh, or hibernate, and just leave it at that. So once again, biggest difference between sleep, and then you would you would hit apply and then hit OK. I'm just hitting cancel for my sake. Um, once again, the biggest difference between sleep and hibernate is uh, sleep doesn't turn off the computer, but does conserve um, a lot of energy. And once you press the power button, it brings the computer back to everything you were working on. But when the computer is in sleep, uh, it's not, if you were downloading anything, um, it's going to stop those downloads. And, or if you're playing a game, it's going to um, disconnect you from that game uh, until the computer wakes up. And hibernate shuts off uh, the computer completely. Uh, but when you hit the power button, it brings it back to... Um, to everything that you were working on. Uh, the same thing applies with the sleep settings is that it brings, once you do hit the power button, everything will come back up as it was. It'll just take a longer amount of time, um, but you haven't used any power uh, in the battery uh, of your laptop um, or any power at all in the tower. So um, 